This video is on the British Comet 1 in War Thunder, a tank that was commanded by my great uncle in World War 2 and features real life footage of myself and a real comet. Hope you guys enjoy this short intro. Oh, it's a rather large gentleman right there. There goes his engine. Hopefully this other comet hits him. He's putting his fire out first though. Okay, one tiger dead, driving out like he's a invincible boy. We don't want to drive out too bold. This Panther's tunnel vision though. Oh. So am I apparently. KB85. Something behind that wall in front of me here too. KB1C. Yeah, something's definitely over here. A delete Tom? Yes sir. Exactly what he is. No breach shot. Wait, can I machine gun his breach? That is so terrible. It's a uh, IS one and a, a dicky. Mm -hmm. This is your welcome to German players. Oh, a stick. Hello old chaps and please don't click away, I've got something really cool to show you. Now my great uncle IRL was actually a tanker, a commander, and among some of the tanks he was commander of, this is the Comet 1 and also the Centaur Dozer. And a few years ago during a show called War and Peace, I actually got to ride along inside this tank and just chill out in a Centaur Dozer for a while. And guess what, I got some video with it. Oh and a volume warning, this thing's engine IRL is really really loud. I'm inside a Centaur Dozo and I'm about to watch a comet start <laughs> Seems like it's done another wee bit of Real comet thing. This is what I'm in. Centaur. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> So a massive thanks to BAIV in the Netherlands for that. They've actually got a YouTube channel of them restoring the entire tank. I'll put that link in the description below just in case you're interested in that and feel free to chuck them a wee subscribe. But anyway, today we're going to take out the comet. Yesterday we witnessed one of these things on a big old long range map and I actually got this really cool game to show you. It was one of those games that didn't start off very good, in fact pretty woeful, but as time progressed the stress got more and more and the fight in me came out. So the Comet tank is a bit of an oddball, this thing is a medium tank for the British tech tree. It has quite impressive armour but for 5.3 it's really not that great. Now of course volumetric shells have caused some weird overlaps in the turret mantlet so it's actually very difficult to pen this even with the Tiger's gun, but the thing that makes the Comet stand out is this. It's one of the first British tanks to get access to APDS and even in a full up tier this round here can deal with anything that it faces. However this does come with a caveat, although it's a 76mm cannon it's a very short shell meaning that the normal AP round doesn't do quite the same damage as the standard 17 pounder. It does reload pretty quick with an expert crew though at 6.2 seconds and it does have negative 12 degrees of gun elevation. That does mean that it fights very well on defilades and at long range, but of course this vehicle is British and it doesn't get access to a very good reverse gear. That means if you drive into trouble in a brawl, you're kinda stuck there <laughs> unless you've got a couple of minutes to get yourself back into cover. It is a pretty cool little tank but it is very niche 
And really, at this battle rating without APHE, to me, it's a little bit underwhelming. But that doesn't mean we can't do good in it. And to be honest, this tank has a special place in my heart because I never hear the end of Germans whining about its 220mm as a pen at 5.3. Now will be bringing out a couple of planes just to support, we have the Seafire FR-47 and we've got the Clippy Wing Spitfire F Mark something or other. Alright, let's head into battle. Wow. Okay. What is this dude? You know when your dog gets wet, right? That's what this map looks like right now. Like not your normal kind of wet, it's like greasy, miserable, after you did. You are way more capable than I am. No, no, don't do that. You're letting everybody know where we are. Okay, where are all the Panther D's at? This is such a weird shader. I don't, I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Is that an enemy there? Down that street to the right. It definitely could be. This EBR is going to get to this hill and then the enemy team is done for. If they don't kill him, it's over. There he goes. Let's keep an eye on Faris. I think he just popped smoke though. Yeah, he did. Let's see machine gunning. Oh, a Puma next to him. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. I'm really annoyed that I had to shoot there. I'm trying to listen for this Puma. Something's here too. Can't go on that hill right now. Wait, that is a guy. Oh, he's long dead. And that T thirty four. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all dead. A melt heart attack. I got an MX-13 up here with me too. Right, that's that Puma dead. I can't quite get a shot on this Tiger. Oh. He did. Oh, he's dead now anyway. It's a dick up and he's just ducked down in the cover. I can see more movement here though. Already gone. <laughs> Everyone's driving at the speed of light. Oh, I kind of want that Werbo one dead. I have to expose myself too much though. Oh my goodness. Our team has been a lot of work in. I see another one coming this way. We're in a really good position here. Oh, little fella. Panzer 4. Smoke's definitely going to attract some attention to me, but I want to get out of here now. Back over to B. They're, they're taking our C cap as well. Gonna have 
to just wait, I think. I, I don't I, I can't go back over the water right now. I just seen a panzer floor coming this way as well. We're gonna have to set up for him. He'll be coming very shortly. Of course as soon as I move. But Cromwell's got a crossfire, we're getting C back. There's an enemy back there that's just been scouted. Very angry aircraft. And another. Okay. Right, the Russian players are starting to die now. That's definitely good news for us. Horizontal drives out. He still killed someone without a horizontal drive. Oh, I just missed his ammo. That Yag is a legend. Another T-34 there. Where did the Yag go? Very likely gonna die here. I got his radiator. Just saw him some actual armor. Damn, there's the T-34-57. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, I guess we had in a plane. God, that was so easy to spot too. I'm, I'm hoping that somebody else saw those. Oh, we spawned so high up. 1k. You got a typhoon on. Some other thing on the deck. French boy. Right, IL2. What else is here? I can't really see them when I zoom in. I really should be dealing with fighters first. I can't hear them, but I don't see them. Well, I got eyes on them now. Okay, that's one. The most dangerous one to me, anyway. This other guy is still ground pounding. I don't know where the third one went. I think there's an SBA firing at me as well. Okay, I have to take his tail off to actually kill him. Uh, that's the verbal wind that I was shooting at earlier. That is a lot of SBA. Four. And does our team consist of quite a few? Actually. Oh, I stole someone's silver lines. Okay, let's try and keep this French boy alive since he's the one to push the cap. I do see a live verbal one down there and this this truck is obviously very upset with me too. Is this 12? Hopefully this guy will kill him though. Okay, bombs are out on this dude. Oh, they splashed some water. So they didn't do any damage. Right, I'm going to definitely continue the fight for this FL-10. There are many, many enemies left though. Our Avenger just got yoinked by a Wurble. That last seven is perfectly capable of setting me in fire three times in a row. Not a good way to go. He's dead. Oswind gone. Werbo's still up here somewhere. Damn, we lost Ceramic Llama. 
That dude was fighting for his life. We are really low on tickets. Hey, Wubble. Okay, I got some of his crew, but I didn't kill him, sadly. What on earth just hit me, actually? Well, that sucked. Breach is out. Not good. This guy can kinda see the back of my engine, the Wurble. Right, one last smoke. Okay. The stuck is crit. There's two guys here though. I still have a loader. Dude's pushing me. Not sure what side though. Come on, smoke clear. Heads up. Yeah, his breach is out. That guy just fired. The heads up. Stoop can wait. The Wurble's still alive up there too. And the Yag. Okay. Heads transmission's out. Stug's dead. Someone's coming up behind me. Wurble and the Yag's gone. Lack of reverse gear has caused us problems. Don't you dare. Getting B back. We've got a Comet supporting us too. This all started off as a funny meme, but it's got awfully serious now. I just seen a guy this way. Missed that Panzer floor. The enemy's gonna really take their time now. Nice job, Comet. Churchill just took out ASU-57. Something is in front of me here. Bomb on me. Damn. Lost another teammate. Nice, Comet. Nice job, dude. Big old IS. I hit the wall. The Panzer 4H to my left there, too. This Churchill is now brawling this guy. Come on, stop getting hung up in walls and stuff. You're an idiot, Buzz. Right, Panzer 4, where the hell are you? Smoking him off. I need that Churchill. I've made a lot of mistakes this game. I intend to correct them. Commander Loader, no gunner. I'm, I'm gonna die here. Okay. Let's get this fire out. Didn't lose a crew member. Lives Churchill will actually come and help me. I'm getting shot at by this plane as well. Don't hit my breach, whatever you do. I'm very badly immobilized right now. Come on. Come on. 
lived through it somehow. Is Churchill's getting the cap. I can just still make here all day. Yes, dude. <laughs> Thank you very much. The ceramic llama's back. Two enemies left. I love these games. Absolutely love them. Right down to the knuckle. Oh, he just killed his teammate. Is that a... <laughs> GG. So the Comet 1 is actually a good boy. It definitely takes a little bit more patience than it normally would with any other tank. But when you eventually get to a map that's decent for it and a good position, it's a very rewarding vehicle to play. There is of course a very rare premium version of this vehicle too. And you can even back it up with the Challenger, the Avenger, and of course, the Sherman Firefly. This thing in the Challenger can really handle full up tiers pretty well. But you just have to get really handy and adapt it, aiming for things, gunners and ammunition racks. Oh, and don't be like me and get yourself into positions where you can't reverse out of. Still, if you haven't ground out your British tech tree, I definitely recommend this guy. And it's round about that battle rating that Britain actually starts to get very good. A huge thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon, especially the tier 3 folks over there. That's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Thumpin' Bunny, Kyle of White, Houndy, Gateway, Belel, Trash Panda, Rige, Zema, Kane the Salt Lord, Viking Gods, Warpig, The Fire Piper, Sexy, Vanian, Yogbo, Justin Darlin, J Tormey, and Fearsome Scotsman. You're all some boys for watching and absolutely ideal. Thank you guys for sticking around. Much love and bye bye.